In the next drawing, I'm not going to use a line. I will use a polyline. A line is a discontinuous line segment. But a polyline is a continuous line segment. I'll pick a polyline. I want to use a polyline to draw this, not a line. A line can do the same thing, but I just want to use a polyline. Click a polyline, pick a point, ensure that your auto is on by pressing F8 to make it straight. Type 140, press enter. This is 140 millimeters. Next, I will direct my mouse and the line towards this direction. I will type 40, press enter. Next, I will go up by 30, press enter. Next, I will direct my mouse towards this direction by 30, good. Press enter. I will come down by what? 30, good. I will go towards this direction by, okay. I need to type 100, enter. I will go up by 30, enter. This is 30, enter. I will come down by 30, enter. I will go this way by 40, isn't it? Enter. I will go up by 140, enter. Then I will enter again to cut it. With a polyline, if I click any part, everything is highlighted. If I move this, everything is moved simultaneously. That's why I want to use a polyline. With a line, this won't happen. Next, from the middle of this line, I will use a line, not a polyline. Click a line, locate this middle, click and go up by 170. Is that not what is there? Yeah. 170. Enter. Enter again. I will click center radius. I will locate the tip of this line of 170. Click. What's the radius? 40. Good. Radius of 40. Enter. Pick the circle again. Pick the center, 80. 80, yes, enter. The next thing I will do is, I will pick a line, pick this end, and just click anywhere here, enter. No dimension. I will pick a line again, click, click anywhere inside here, and enter. Next, click fillet. You can type R, enter. Who will tell me the fillet of the edge? 10. Is it radius or diameter? Radius. radius. So I will just type 10. I will press enter. Watch. This edge, I will click. Click. Next, I will enter. I will click. Click. The next thing I will do is trim. Enter. Enter. I will remove this. I will remove this, escape or press enter. I will delete this line. Next, I will trim, enter, enter. I will trim this part off, escape. To shape this according to the drawing, we click tangent, tangent, radius. Pick any part of this edge, pick any part of this edge, 10. Enter. Tangent, tangent, radius. Click. Click any part. 10. Enter. Next, type trim. Enter. Enter again. Trim, trim, trim. Trim here off, trim here off, and trim here off. Now, we have this shape. Escape. If you look at your activity, this is exactly what we have. Isn't it? It is your turn. Remember that the final step is to dimension the drawings. Also remember to save your work.